Ostara and the Hare, written by Alexander Ravenheart, illustrated by Maria Fenchenko. Oh hark, the sound of songbirds singing sweetly in the sky. Behold the chipper chattering of chipmunks bustling by. Inhale the pleasant perfumed breeze of sprouting vegetation as fragrant fields of flower buds all bloom in celebration. Even the bees are buzzing to the beat the bluebells ring, for night and day are equal now. Today's the first of spring. The flora, fay, and fauna all make merry in their mirth as they toast the sacred marriage of the sun to maiden earth. While nature's children mingled, there was one who wasn't there. The rabbit to the bunny asked, Say, have you seen the hare? In truth, the hare was first to wake upon his grassy nest, but straight away he knew today would not be like the rest. For when he stood to start his day and stretched his lucky legs, he realized, to his surprise, that he had laid an egg. Its shell was rainbow-colored, and the hare exclaimed, My word! No mammals laid an egg before. That stuff's for bees and birds. He hoped he might find someone with an answer if he'd ask it. So the hare hopped hither, thither, yonder, with his bundle in a basket. He asked the crow, who didn't know. The tortoise couldn't tell him. The fairy folk <laughs> found it a joke. The gnomes weren't home to help him. But just before all hope seemed lost, there came a cordial call. Old Robin swept up to the scene. Young hare, don't you recall? Oh, bless the bliss of naive life, he twittered to the hare. Follow the rainbow to Ostara. You'll find your answer there. Now most of nature's children, be they falcon, fish, or fox, know Ostara as the goddess of the springtime equinox. But the hare had never met her, so he struggled to pretend his belly wasn't filled with butterflies when he reached the rainbow's end. As soon as hare beheld her, he could not believe his eyes. Ostara's beauty was breathtaking, and tremendous was her size. Flowers blossomed all around her while she sang a sacred psalm. Hello, old friend. Ostara said, and held him in her palm. Oh, green goddess, said the hare, please listen to my plea. I've laid this egg here, and I fear there's something wrong with me. The goddess gave a gleaming grin, broad as the ocean shore. Don't you recall? The goddess asked, just as old Robin did before. She said, once there flew a brilliant bird, with rainbow-colored feathers. And every spring she'd visit me and we would sing together. But one year winter stayed too long and frost bit at her plumes. I formed her feathers into fur to save her from her doom. His memories returned at once. That rainbow bird was me. Oh, goddess, now I understand, the hare cried tears of glee. Please take this egg as tribute for saving me from strife. Each spring, I will come back again to thank you for new life. So every spring, the hare returns, still grateful to his goddess, and gifts her rainbow-colored eggs in keeping with his promise. Then he visits every village garden, hiding eggs in secret places, and waits to watch the joy of life spring to light in children's faces. Thank you, friends, for listening along to this reading of Ostara and the Hare, book number two in the Song of Sabbath series by Alexander Ravenheart. Each book in the series features a poetic tale based on one of the eight Sabbaths on the Wheel of the Year and include a brief history of each Sabbath, kid-friendly ways to celebrate them, worksheets for reading comprehension and vocabulary building, writing and poetry prompts, 
and opportunities for artistic expression. This is Alexandra Ravenheart wishing you a blessed Ostara and a bountiful spring season. Until we marry meet again, 